Good evening. You're watching ISTV English News at seven, and these are the headlines. Private organization called Lenge develops model village without any government help. And five-day Shirilili festival comes to an end today. Closing ceremony being held at multiple venues. Now moving on to the news in detail. A private organization called Lenge has developed a model village without having taken any government help. Nongpok Sanjenbam Kuno, that is located in Imphal East District, was successfully developed as a model village by Lenge. Even as the people are unsure about the MP fund that was promised for development of model villages, the private organization has not only developed Nongpok Sanjenbam Kuno in five different fields, but also provided a source of income to the villagers. The five-day Shiri Lili festival has come to an end today. The closing ceremony is being held at Tangkul Nagalong Ground at Ukrul Town at present. Works Minister T. H. Biswajit, Chairman of Tourism Corporation of Manipur Limited, Dr. Sapam Ranjan, MLA of Tame Assembly Constituency, Awangbao Niumai, MLA of Ketrigao Assembly Constituency, N. Indrajit, MLA of Yai School Assembly Constituency, Thokchom Satyabrata, MLA of Sekma Assembly Constituency, Haikam Dingo, MLA of Mayang Imphal Assembly Constituency, Kongkham Robindro attended as a man guest at the formal function of the closing ceremony. Various cultural programs were also presented at the closing ceremony. Meanwhile, a special rock concert is being held at Boxy Ground Ukrul headquarters at present. <laughs> PHED Minister L. Diko has said that it is time that the people thought about their contributions to the government's efforts for development. He said one must not sit just just sit and watch the steps taken up by the government. The minister said this while attending a program of handing over rations and stationary items to Kangla Tongbi Children Home today. The initiative was taken up by the Public Health Engineering Department Contractors Association. Chairman of Kangla Tongbi Children Home, K. Chung Sun Kom, additional chief engineer of PHED, L. Swamikanta, and many others attended the program. As part of the initiative, contractor S. Sanajabo of Singjame Oinam Thingal handed over a sum of 10,000 rupees to the home. Minister L. Diko maintained that one should encourage the contractors for taking up such initiatives. He appealed to the people to contribute in all possible manners for the betterment of the society. Person. Responsible person in our society. We cannot always expect from the government or from the people a very high opinion and respect overseas. We cannot always expect. But we also think, have to think, how we will give to our people, how we will give to the government, how we will support the initiative of the government. Once again, Chairman and Managing Director of the Salai Holdings Private Limited, Narengbam Samarjit, has been honored with the International Achievers Award. This is the third time in the same year that Samarjit has received the award. The award was handed over to Samarjit at a solemn function held at the Crown Plaza Hotel in Dubai last night. The award function was organized by Indian Achievers Forum under the sponsorship of Ministry of Economy, UAE, under Secretary of Ministry of Economy, Economy, Foreign Trade, United Arab Emirates, UAE, Abdullah bin Al Salah, President of Al Zaruri Foundation, Suhail Muhammad Al Zaruri, Chief Patron of International Achievers Forum, Sunil Sastri, and many eminent industrialists attended the award function. International Achievers and Brand Impact Awards were distributed to best industrialists and entrepreneurs across the world. An International Achievers Summit on Global Business Opportunities was also held as part of the award function. A souvenir titled Achievers World was also released at the function. This achievement will bridge the gap in between the indigenous entrepreneurs 
of Northeast region of India and the policy makers of India who architect the very concept of Mac in India but translate to Salai, especially to me as creating India. My role in the Northeastern region of India is a warrior with the spiritual mission of redefining the dark side, the dark portion of the region. Thank you so much. JAC against unnatural shifting of Imphal East District Hospital, Sagolmang has blamed the government for the agitation arising out in Kundrakpam Assembly constituency. He accused the government of misleading other sections of the society regarding the agitation. The JAC has been staging no only non-violent demonstrations. The JAC has requested the government to immediately announce whether the hospital will be set up at Sagolmang or not. As part of the ongoing road safety week, traffic stickers were distributed to students at Thaubal Mela ground today. The program was jointly organized by Transport, Police and Administration of Thaubal District. DCH Rosita and SPS Gautam were the main guests at the program held in connection with the road safety week. DCH Rosita appealed to all to follow traffic rules religiously. SP of Thaubal District Police, as Gautam said, it has become very important to make everyone aware of traffic rules to prevent rot mishaps. <laughs> Commissioner of the Department of Textile, Ravendra Singh, was, has informed that the number of taxes registered under GST in the period between July 1st to April 15th of 2017 in Manipur has reached 10,732. The Commissioner was addressing a press conference held at the office complex of DIPR. Commissioner Ravendra Singh said, even though Manipur is a small state, the number of GST registration in the state has leveled up to a great extent. Manipur has ranked second in revenue collection as per the collection recorded till February 18th. This is indeed a matter of pride. E-way bill will be launched soon for the ease of the taxpayers and collection of the taxes. Uh, in terms of their improvement shown in revenue, revenue collection till February 2018, then we will see that Manipur comes at the second position all over the country. The total tax collection for GST, VAT and other sources comes out to be 677 crore. And even this figure is expected to increase slightly once we get reconciliation from AJ department. The potential of revenue collection for Manipur in GST is still very high and we can achieve that also. MPP President Oinam Jugindro has condemned the statement made by the interlocutor of the Naga Peace Talks, R.N. Ravi, who talked about forming an autonomous Naga Territorial Council in Manipur. He said the MPP can never agree with the condition. Addressing a press conference held at the office of the party, Oinam Jugindro further said the party welcomes the peace talks. However, the party cannot agree with the sense of bringing a state within the state. R.N. Ravi stated statement can break the state's territory into different parts. The party takes it as a ploy to divide the people of the hills and the valley in Manipur. Besides, it sounds like an election campaign of BJP for the 2019 polls. <laughs> State ama na tarika sovereign country ma Libya ro. Manu na siar sovereign ti hai apport sae masi su Libya ro chini yoko na ebi bin hai si. Barat sarkagi gam na na tarika Zambia ni hai dunna. Indonesia ni hai dunna. 
Tongue I had in the same sea. Manipur Prazada, Amadayan, and Pai Bama Ponava. Pokum near Manipur Gi Kundamineva Purupsing, the history Kangana. BJB Gomengi Arena Bina Baroque of Pumasatum, Kayandana, Tamlaga Manipur Gi Purupsing, Tokai Togai Masjet, Tana Togana Bokonariba, MPP Yavang and Roy. A one-day district level discussion on role of the stakeholders jointly organized by MACR and Child Line Thaubal was held at Thaubal Court today. Member of Manipur Protection for Child Rights, Kaisham Pradeep, State Convener of Manipur Alliance for Child Rights, Montu Ahantham and SP of Thaubal as Gautam were the main guests at the inaugural function. OC of Thaubal Police, Rishikesh Sharma, was a resource person at the discussion. The Moirang police led by SDP or Surkumar and OC RK Anil Kumar along with commandos of Bisnupur police recovered liquor and beer from various hotels in Moirang Lamkai area. According to a police officer, the stay was taken up after the security parameters of Moirang in connection with the Tangjing Lai Harauba was challenged due to the drunk and drive and the possibility of occurrence of unwanted incidents. <laughs> Lai Harau bagi nama ada ngausin nabel lak pasi umur singa si tau dana bagi demak ta, ekoi yang kena ekoi di Besembu District Polis ki ekoi di SP yang menjadi Desen SP ki lu sing makah ada sing umur isu singa si ekoi hujung hujung terus jadi bersih continue terus jaga ni hai bersih macam tham. A one-day awareness program on crime against women and children was jointly organized by Eastern Shine School at Mori Ward No. 7 and Women at Action for Development Ward Imphal. Secretary of Ward Sobita Mangsatabam, Project Manager of Center for School Development Don Ngai Ha Vung, Headmaster of Eastern Shine School, K. Shamo and many others attended the awareness program. Advocate Kamla spoke on POXO Act and Nomita on Child Marriage Act. A rally of ex-servicemen of Assam Rifles was held at the indoor hall of Bal Bhavan at Kuman Lampak today. Major General Virendra Singh, Commander of 9th Sector Amit Kapthial, President of Assam Rifles Ex-Servicemen Association, Subeda Major Kulki, Director Second in Command of the Association, Biju K. Sam, DC of the Pensioner Cell of the Association, Hanuman were the main guest at the rally organized by IGAR South. Health checks-ups were also done for the family members of ex-servicemen as part of the rally. Wheelchair and financial assistance were also provided to the widows, including two war veterans at the rally. Major General Virendra Singh said the ex-servicemen rally will help bring the families of ex-servicemen and Assam Rifles together. मजबूत बनाना आपकी सेवा जो आपने देश के लिए की है उस योगदान की सराहना करना आज इस मौके पर हमारा लक्ष्य है कि हम आप से मिलकर आपकी समस्याओं को समझें और उन्हें दूर करने का प्रयत्न करें। An awareness and mobilization camp. For self help groups organized by Koro Hanba Handloom and Handicraft Corporation Society was held at Panthobi Market today. Just one Chirom, Jila Parishad Basikong, TH Ibaima Assistant Manager, MRB Kongba Branch, faculty members, and many others attended the awareness and mobilization camp. Maite Mayek translations of renowned author Hizam Guno's books. Tonu, Lising Lembi and Kudol were released at Manipur Press Club today. Professor P. Navachandra of Manipur University, Nahakpam Aruna, filmmaker K. H. Biswamitra and many others attended the book release organi organized by Hijam Guno Foundation. Managing trustee of Hijam Guno Memorial Trust, Hijam Dinesh said the Maite Mayek translation of the books was released with an objective of making the book available to all readers including those who cannot read Bengali script. Script. 
Dua-dua mahu pemandu terus di aku masih ke fasa ber apa apa macam saya tu masih thole ibu mirul sih. Nampak tak pangbang am tetenah. Dua-dua mahang kita tarik orang sih ke wakal orang sih dah anu ibu mirul sih sih ke yang tu aku ni lagi sih ketuk saya. With an objective of making the students of Government Ideal Blind School Takyal, an awareness program for students on Jumba Fitness was held at the school building today. Talking to ISTV News, Senior Instructor of Jumba Fitness, Ashaki Ransat, the Jumba style will give various health benefits to the students. In the national news, we have... In a rare acknowledgement of India's role in global affairs, Chinese President Xi Jinping on Friday said the influence of India and China was increasing steadily in the region and the world and that there was vast space and a bright future for bilateral cooperation. In remarks after two hours of conversation with Prime Minister Narendra Modi on the first day of the informal summit in Wuhan, she expressed hope that they will reach a common, new and important understanding that will help take our relationship to the next level. Officials Officials from both sides indicated that they were working on a new framework described as an arrangement to bridge the strategic trust deficit. While a joint document is not being ruled out, Foreign Secretary Vijay Keshav Gokhale is likely to articulate the government's takeaways after the summit on Saturday. The five-member collegium is likely to meet next Wednesday to consider the government's decision to return the name of Justice K. M. Joseph, Chief Justice of Uttarakhand High Court, for elevation to the Supreme Court. Sources told a National Daily that Chief Justice of India, Deepak Mishra, decided next Wednesday as a day for the meeting of the collegium and indicated it to other members for Friday. The Supreme Court will reopen on Tuesday after the weekend and Buddha Purnima on Monday. No formal agenda for the Collegium meeting has been circulated so far, but it is widely expected to be about the reconsideration of Justice Joseph's name for elevation to the Supreme Court. Pressure has been mounting on CGI Mishra to stand up to the government to preserve the independence of the judiciary, particularly in the case of Justice Joseph. Now before we close the headlines once again. Private organization called Langai develops model village without any government help. And five-day Shirulili festival comes to an end today, closing celebration being held at multiple venues. That's all we have in this edition of news. Thanks for watching and good night.